Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here, welcome back to Argentina in our run here in Victoria 3, where we are trying to form, well first of all, Rio de la Plata, but also the Federation of the Andes later on. And as you can see, we are having most of it already under our control. Uh, we just need to colonize Patagonia and the Gujarani, and then I think we are fine, because we have Alto Paraguay. That is over here, I think. Uh, yeah, we need to colonize that one, Patagonia, Mendoza, I guess it's still getting colonized, Santa Fe is also getting colonized, and you as well, so we will be able to form this, uh, I think, uh, pretty soon, because we are colonizing fairly quickly. Okay, a couple of things we are going to do at the start, because our economy is going down, we are having too much interest, so most likely we will actually go bankrupt. Which is fine, but when we go bankrupt, we are going to click this button here. So you can see that we will get 10 years of uh, no offense and no defense. So it, in 10 years we cannot do any war, so that will be very bad. I will keep trying to not get this. A couple of things we can do right now. Uh, in between episodes I have uh, looked at my expenses and my uh, goods for government buildings are very high paper price very high and i think we are buying it from the national market so we need to lower our paper price and we need to lower our small arms price but the problem with the small arms is that people are getting our small arms we have a trade route and that's over here and we cannot cancel those it's impossible that we cancel it the only thing we can do is uh, protect domestic supply and we already did this so, uh, but still these countries are going to take our stuff. So the only thing we can stop this is to ban them. For example, Bolivia, we can say to them, hey, I want you to embargo so you cannot trade with me anymore. That should have an immediate impact on my goods for military uh, building. So we now, we now have 2.63, right? Let's wait for the next uh, week so we can compare this. Let's see, what is it now? 2.62, let's embargo. That's 2.58, so it's a little bit better. There we go, now it's 2.44. And that is because we are no longer letting them taking our small arms. Now the only one that is still taking it is Ecuador. So we can tell Ecuador to get uh, embargoed as well, but there you go. It's costing so much influence, right? So that is the whole problem. There's not a lot we can do about that one. Oh well. Uh, there's something else we can do. We need still more paper. Uh, are we making our own paper? We are still not making our own paper. I think it's time that we are going to do this. I really think so. Something else we can do is actually lower my government wages. They still make enough. Let me do this. I have calculated this. And we have just upgraded one of our gold mines. So let's take a look at that one. You are completely working, which is giving us 2.5 thousand of income. Which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you are getting hired. Where was the other gold mine here? Yes. Are you hiring? Can you find people that want to work here? Uh, I am subsidizing it. To get the people uh, in the gold mines. Now we are also building a construction sector, because we, our investment pool is uh, getting too big, so we need to build a couple of these so that my investment pool can get drained. I think I need to build one more. Uh, do we have any job seekers in Santa Fe is a good province, I think. Let's get another one in Santa Fe as well. Yeah, and then Bolivia is embargoing me. Are we trading with them? No. So for now, can I maybe get more paper? Because my paper price is still way too high. And all these trade routes are of course costing bureaucracy. Which is very frustrating. I've also set my uh, buildings to privatization again. Uh, yeah, you can privatize everything. We are broke as a country. <laughs> okay, I think someone just bought one of my buildings because my debt is certainly so much better. 
Yeah, that must be the case. They have bought one of our buildings, so maybe we can get uh, not into bankruptcy. Because we're making a good amount of minting. It's looking really good. Yeah, and slowly we are <coughs> slowly we are hiring people over here. Oh, it's looking good actually. I think it's it will go well. Are you telling me that my investment pool is empty? Why did all that money go instantly? Did they just buy something that is They bought all the buildings instantly. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. So apparently they buy it immediately when they have the money. Because my investment pool is now empty. Now oh, that is interesting. I didn't know that. But that's new for me as well. They can just buy it. Okay. We, we, we need to make paper, guys. Paper is now uh, the biggest expense, I think. Let's take a look. 2.7. Yeah, and the interest. If we can get maybe a paper mill, where will it be very profitable? In, in Argentina. Because we have a couple of uh, bureaucracy buildings there. And they use paper. Uh, so maybe we should do it there then. Where do we have the most government buildings? Yeah, let's make a paper mill in Argentina. That seems a good idea. There we go. And that paper mill. You can do sulfide pulping. Do we have sulfur in the market? Uh, I am not sure. No, but we can have it. So first we need to do it without. And then we're going to make a sulfur mine. Yeah. Okay. So what we will do now is let the game run. I will wait for my infamy to be uh, very low. And then we go to War of Bolivia. We are going to take three states from them, two or three, see how much infamy that is going to be. And uh, we will see uh, who's going to join. And what is this? A man in demand. We get this guy goes to Prussia. Uh, that will absolve our obligation. We can get rid of this guy. Which I am actually fine with, I think. Yeah. Or, okay, let's give this one away. It also gives us more bureaucracy, and one of my generals is now gone. Which is fine, because generals cost a lot of bureaucracy. And we need that, so. And look at our look at our situation. We are doing better. We are doing better. Because we got rid of our interest. Interest is just way too high in these countries over here. You don't want it. We need to get rid of it and then we will, I think, be uh, safe. I really think so. What is this? The Curse of Shackles. Momentum to the National Civic Union. And the landowners will not like this, but they are already super angry. We get slavery banning support, which we are doing right now. And then the landowners will be even... Worse. No, I don't think we need it. Let's just do this one. And they are super angry. And it makes sense, of course. Okay. Because our infamy. Now the low market access we cannot really do anything about because we are working on it. Uh, of course, after we have done this one, we can build railways, but we have no motor stations. So all the things we need to do still... We don't even have steel yet, do we? So we have to build steel, then we have to build a motor industries, and then we have to build railways in the states where we have no infrastructure. So we can do all these things now. We can take a look at our urban centers, but the railways for all the things are going to take a bit longer. Uh, let's see. Urban centers. Oh yeah, and for this one we also need motors so we cannot do anything over here nope we have to wait that's fine okay if I stop building will we get rid of our death maybe 
I will give my uh, my uh, construction sector to the private investment pool for a bit, and then we might be okay. France is guaranteeing our independence. Well, France, thank you. We are having some really good relations with some of these countries. Especially with... Uh, wait, can we join your power block? No. Okay, we are making money, but that is because we had one tick of not building, I think. Yeah, there we go. Now we are building again. If I stop building, how much money do we make? Not a lot. Well, it goes up because I think the, the the construction costs are going down as well. Let's keep this for a bit. We are actually fixing our economy. Uh, campaign advance. No, we're not going to spend any money on all of this. And we don't want these people to have power, so that's all completely fine. So let's just, let's just play a bit without building, get rid of our debt, and then we will go... Uh, oh, we failed this one. And we will go to war when our infamy is down. So I will see you guys there. Now, we are now having a revolution. The uh, landowners do want to keep their legacy slavery. Um, is there anything we can do about this? I don't think I want to put my points to some something else. Well, we can stop the promote social mobility in Tucumán over here. But that is not enough to suppress the landowners. Because we need 200. We get minus 40% though, which will be amazing. Because we have censorship. We as a state can do this. Oh, but then I need to get rid of one of my gold mine bonuses. In Yuyu in Tucuman. Let's see how much this is actually. Let's cancel this and see what happened to my minting progress. We lose 150. I think that is enough. We are gonna suppress the landowners. Done. That should stop this revolution, because they will have way lower uh, interest. People will leave the landowners because of us. Because of the minus 40%. Don't know where it is over here. Should be over there. Well. Uh, what is this? The playful power. We can get the petite bourgeoisie or not. Let's not piss them off. And when we give them more power... It will go away from the landowners. So, there we go. Now they are at 83. We might fix our country. I cannot believe it. It's amazing. Now our infamy is zero. I will make a save and we will go to war. Okay, the save is made. Let's see how this goes. We will go for the conquer state of this coastal province of Antofagasta. Uh, there's no gold here though. Let's take a look where the gold is. So we have gold in Potosi. So we really want Potosi. Let's make this the primary war goal. Uh, do you have any other gold? Yeah, in your capital. But I don't think we can take that right now. Let's go with Potosi. The first one. Seven infamy. There's nothing else we can do with this country. Uh, because we are the same rank. So we can only just go to war. I cannot uh, vassalize them. Let's see how it is here. The United States is not going to help anyone. Ottoman Empire, we don't care. Uh, Brazil could go against us. I'm trying to improve relations, but they are putting it down again. Ecuador will join, though. So let's see how that is going to uh, make this war. But there we go. And let's see what their army numbers is. 18 and plus 2. Our army should be fine against it. What are my generals? We have an experienced defensive strategist. And you are a normal one. Do we have any super general? No. So I'm going to keep these two only. Because it's cheap in bureaucracy as well. Having only two generals. And I will raise my conscript when it's time. I will raise the income. From the military. So there we go. We are going down again. Austria and Prussia are having a... Uh, Prussia is having a revolt. We don't like that because Prussia is my friend. I could help Prussia. But hey, I am already at war. And we have a new president. Because we had an election. We now have Alejandro Heredia, who is part of the Intelligentsia. 
And we can now have a very legitimate government by doing this one. But I will keep the industrialist in, so together with the rural folk, who are also radical, which is okay. Actually really good for us. And these three will just stay in the government. I take the 77 over the 80. Finally we are having a legitimate government again. So I'm very happy about that. Belgium is siding, Russia is siding with her. Oh my goodness, this war over here. Look at this war over here. It's a plutocratic revolt? No, it's an aristocratic revolt. So the landowners, supported by Austria, makes sense. And Russia, because they are also landowners. They are a tsardom. They have a kaiser and a king and whatever. They support the king in Prussia against the armed forces. So that is interesting, because the armed forces are not even that, that far away from a kaiser Reich or whatever. Bavaria, yeah, they are going to join over there. What is this? We can't do anything about it, so we will click the button. I will declare neutrality for this war, so we don't get the pop-ups. And I think it's time to mobilize my troops so that they are ready. Who is going to join who? They want to conquer Santiago and humiliate me. Hopefully no one will go against us. If Brazil goes help uh, Bolivia again, then we have a problem. Simple as that. Then we might have to reload. Save. There's Ecuador. Do they have a fleet? No. So their army should not be able to get here unless they can find a way through Peru. I don't think they can. But that's going to be completely fine. It also counts for me. I cannot invade per Ecuador. So I will not make Ecuador my vassal. We can vassalize them. Because they are a insignificant power. And uh, yeah, we are not having that big of an overhead. So we're going to raise our conscripts as well for this one. Don't think there's anything we can do about it. We are really close of getting the uh, extra points over here. Hmm. Oh. Of course they can get here. What am I thinking? Of course this army can get here. Because they just go to the port over here and... What, this is not a naval invasion. Of course their troops can go here. So that is going to be interesting. Uh, we need to make sure that we are going to... Uh, win this. It's gonna be a big one. The street side standoff. Whatever. Heavy, ha heavy handedness. Doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, now we are at minus. Uh, we might have to uh, just sit and defend for a bit here. Let's make sure that we get our war goals. Bolivia is adding war goals as well. And oh goodness, guys. Oh, oh goodness. We are absolutely only going to defend at the start. Still need more manpower. It's coming. But I hope we can, we can make this war. It's going to be very difficult. But then we know that we have to uh, get more army. Yeah, they also are raising their conscripts. Okay, we need to add more war goals now. I will not do a bargain in Ecuador because I cannot get there. So I guess we just do more conquer states. We don't have to humiliate Bolivia. Well, you could vassalize them next time, maybe when I do that. We can liberate Amazonia, which is only one province. No, we can. No, that's not going to help. We're just going to conquer more states. Antofagasta. Can I get La Paz? It's 17 infamy though. Maybe we should not do that. Let's get Anto Vagasta. Primary war goal. Maybe Santa Cruz. Yeah. I'll take your war operations. And I will humiliate you. Oh. 
of course we cannot do it. Well, then we just do it like this. I am not sure if we're gonna win this. I should get more of these going. There we go. And they're gonna rise up, right? It's gonna be very costly. We do have general stuff unlocked, so that we can get skirmish infantry, but therefore we need ammunition, and we are not gonna get ammunition for the next 15 years, I think. So, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen at all. We know that this war is gonna happen, and that no one is gonna help, so that is good news. And I hope that they are going against my wall over here. I hope that they are going to attack me. National self-defense. Yeah, this uprising is getting out of control. Ow. Wait, why do I have so much authority suddenly? We are no longer doing the encourage the vines. Why did that stop? No idea. Well. Okay, the war is going to happen. It's going to be me versus Bolivia and Ecuador. I hope that these conscripts are going to get raised over time. And let's see if they're going to attack me. They are. Tell me, we, tell me that I'm winning. We are winning. Okay. The first battle is ours. These wars are really about killing people. And get their manpower down. Sometimes the I, I think the AI will not use the, um, the higher uh, wages. What a setback. Okay, we have critical. I'm going to stop this. We will stop that law change. Uh, we have another battle over here. And we are winning again. And we are killing them way more than they do. So this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. We are pursuing them now. We are demo... Oh yeah, this is... We are going to win this war. Just by, that, by this battle. Because we are killing so many manpower. And they will never recover in time. Arming the natives... Let's not piss off Brazil. Nice battle, guys. Are they still attacking me? Yes. Did they stop attacking? Or are they going to continue? They stopped. So now we are going to attack. Not with my defense guy, I think. We have home, home offense and defense, but not something else. And you? I think they can just attack both. They can do rapid advance. Then we take more casualties, and that is the only thing we don't need. So we are not going to do that one. We're just going to do a normal attack over here. And you can see that we have so, so much more people fighting. They do have a huge defense stat, though. Yeah, I don't like that as well. Are we going to do another attack? Yes, because we have two generals, right? No, we have only one going. I am winning. But now my people are getting slaughtered. That is not what I want. I think when I sit on my hands longer, I will ha I will win the manpower battle. Because look, our manpower is just gone. So yeah, we are going to defend. This is getting out of hand. We cannot go and attack them right now. Now their manpower is also super low. They have 11,000. I have 20,000. So, And we did occupy a bit of land over here. 
But this war is gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, declare neutrality. Sure. We have a political lobby, an anti-Brazilian lobby. Oh, the game just does not want me to have good relations with Brazil. They just refuse. Oh, that was a big chunk of manpower that just came back here. Ammunition? Uh, that's wrong. There should not be any ammunition. Are you telling me? How can I tell my conscription center that they should not use any ammunition? Uh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Cancel that one. Yeah, oh, now I get it. We need to go back to line infantry over here. Click. And then we have to boot it here. Now I get it. Yeah. Otherwise you make the uh, new one. Okay. If this stays like this, do I win the war? I don't think I will. Will they go below zero? Cannot be reduced below zero because neither their capital nor the following war goals have been occupied. We need to occupy all the war goals. Otherwise we are not going to get it. Uh, let's just take one first. What is the manpower? 26,000. Can I do a law change that will make the armed forces happy? Don't like that one. No. Oh. No. No, there is nothing I can do, I think. I can do the right of assembly. We lose the suppression impact we can do right now, but we also lose the technology spread. And when we go here, it's just a little bit better. It is, of course, going to piss off the church again and the landowners. But it will make the armed forces happy for the time being. And that is more important. Because then they get the bonus. So that my attack stat is higher. Uh, what I also should do is maybe stop suppressing. And use this to get more people. So enlistment efforts. People, you guys need to become a soldier. If banking gets more minting for us and loan interest rate, our minting went just up like crazy because of that technology. It is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I would love to go to and do another attack here. Should I just do it? Should we do one more attack and see how it goes? Let's go over it. Same offense, same defense. But we have more troops. You can see more are going to get wounded. But we are killing more though. Huh. How much occupation did I get last time? I already have 61 occupation of this state. So maybe we can get one state at least occupied. That would be really nice. Uh, having this is not good. But I need to keep all of this going. Oh. Sucks. There we go, we are winning. We are killing more people than they do. And now we have at least a full state occupied. Perfect. Now we will go to their capital. And we will remove this one. We have 78. Oh yeah, now we're going to win. They have no more manpower. They are leaving the front. Where are you going? 
What, what are you doing? What, what are these troops doing? Why are they leaving? I don't know. That was a bug from the game, I think. That we just <laughs> exploited. <laughs> what? Whoa. Why are these troops moving so quickly? <laughs> oh, man. Well, we are winning. Very nice. I think... Oh, yeah, this is not a good battle, though. Ooh, our manpower. This one is okay. I'll just keep going from this point on. I think we can. And we have another revolution. They want to keep... Censorship. Well, I might cancel this law when the war is over. It just to get a temporary buff for my armed forces. Ooh. What the hell is this? I don't want to piss off the petite bourgeoisie anymore. Can we get more radicals? Shoot. Uh, I, I will not piss them off anymore. I cannot have them uh, rise up. We are winning, guys. We are winning this. What do they want? A white piece? Yeah, duh. Not gonna accept. Because without a rebel, we can exile you. Francisco Sabino, in historical character, he is an agitator. No, we don't have to exile you. It doesn't matter. Oh, the game just wants me to go to war with Brazil. We have the best pro, so we can even make more steel. I think we need to keep building, guys. We need to set up all the things. Motor industry, steel, railways. But look how expensive it is. Oh no. This war needs to be over. Why do we have 40 defense? Annoying. Annoying! We cannot attack anymore. After this is done. It's going wrong. This war takes too long, guys. <laughs> it's so... Oh my goodness. People are damaging relations. Yeah, of course they are. Look at our infamy. People hate us. The people's wealth. We are forced to do this. We are forced to pay money in an event. Are you serious? Come on, get that manpower. But I cannot stay in this war like this. It's not gonna happen. Oh, this is so bad. I have to continue and win the war. I have to. I have to go. Because this war needs to be over. I am still killing more people. So I guess I will just continue. But this is really bad. I think if I don't continue, that I that my war score goes below zero at some point. I think we have to continue this this war over here. I don't care about the stalls, this is just temporarily. Okay, one another battle. I think the other one as well. Killing more people. I have way more people fighting. Do they even have cavalry? Yeah, a little bit. But I think I have more. I can do more damage to them. We have completely occupied Potosi. Now we need to go and get the capital. Ecuador's out of the war. Okay, now we are winning. Ecuador could not fight anymore. This is it. This is the end of Bolivia. And they are going down. Okay, nice. We will win our three states. 
can we solve the uh, 4.4 thousand interest? Maybe. I want all your stuff, man. Oh, and they accept? Okay. Boom. Looks beautiful, right? Let's incorporate it. And let's do a reset production method in these states where we can. That was really nice. That was really nice. We can now stop paying for a military like this. Let's do that one. We have found gold in Aurasania. And you think I know where that is? Here. Gold. There's more gold. They demand action. What do they want? They get... Oh, we can get them plus five approval. Yes. Good. We have conquered three more troops. Uh, why can I not cancel this one? Because there is a revolution. Okay. Take a look at our new conquered states. They are very angry. But we are having some gold fields over here. Oh, yes we do. Okay guys, that will be the end for this episode. In the next one we are not going to war. We are going to try to solve our economy. We'll keep colonizing and hopefully soon we can form Rio de la Plata. And I hope to see you guys in that episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give your reactions in the re uh, reactions tab in the video. It helps considerably. And I see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.